Hello, I am Gary, AJ4GL. I'm here to talk about an automated CW keyer for straight key. Now, I am a straight key fan. I like doing uh, straight key special events uh, and getting on the air that way. I noticed that sometimes uh, running straight key that uh, you just end up calling CQ a few times. So I hear a lot of people on the air with the automatic keyers, uh, with the iambic paddles and things like that, uh, with automated systems. But I still want to run a straight key, so I wanted to invent something that could send the messages but not interfere with the operation of the straight key. So here we go. I uh, tried this solution with a Nano, Arduino Nano. Uh, that's it right in front of us. And I... Uh, took some code and started writing for maybe a couple hours on two consecutive nights and was able to come up with a program to send CQ and also to send a reply message uh, using the uh, Arduino Nano. Uh, what I had done was also uh, uh, by using the LED output I could see how it worked uh, so all I needed to do was to use the, the uh, Nano plugged in the computer until I had a program correctly. And then after that, the rest of this wasn't too hard. I was able to add a send button, a message select whether I'm going to send or reply, and then a speed adjustment. Now it's noted on here, 0 to 20 words per minute. As that's probably the range that I could operate in. Uh, and the original testing of it, after I had breadboarded it, I used a hard relay to... Uh, make the connection to the key around it and that had some speed limitations so uh, second go round I used and changed the relay to a solid state relay and the solid state relay is good for 400 volts about 100 milliamps so that was great to interface to any radio that I have on the key or input for the straight key so the idea was to to be able to do a CQ call or if uh, there's a special event that has a steady reply that I could just uh, program it and use the straight key to, to uh, send the custom messages. Some of the first specs for my keyer, the first off is just to be able to disconnect it and reconnect it very quickly. If I could take it places with me, it could be powered from a battery or from a wall wart and I can hook it up really quick. So I'm going to do that now using the solid state relay it's very polarity sensitive so I have them marked on the key as well as the, the hookup cables. We got that hooked up and we'll power up. So if I want to send a CQ all I have to do is press the send button. Now for speed adjustment, I can turn it up and when I added the solid state relay to it, I really increased the speed that I could send. So I have the pot up there a lot higher than uh, 20 words per minute. So then I adjusted the speed up and just to demonstrate I hit the reply and we'll send that at Okay, so that's uh, about all it's meant to do, and the important thing is just uh, it saves me wear and tear on my wrist for running a straight key, uh, and it's not done yet either. There's going to be further enhancements. I think I'm going to repackage it to put it into the base of the key so that it's, it's actually part of the key so I could take and, and put it, drop a key somewhere and have the capabilities to run it auto or manual and I'm also going to put a wireless interface on it so that I don't have to be tethered to it. I can take it across the room and run it if I like. So this is my latest Arduino project 
for this. I also have a voice keyer that I'm working on that's not quite as far along as this. Thank you. Yeah, and note that when it's ever, when it's hooked up, that that key still works, and then I can send that as well. Okay, another cool feature is by using this solid state driver, I'm, I'm isolated optically from the circuits on the CW keyer, just like the key. And I have it also run into the Kenwood uh, TS480 thing right there, and it works equally well with the uh, Kenwood 480. Turn that on. And we'll hit the go button. So I can take a break and not have to reply or see, take a uh, send a CQ uh, if we're doing repetitive things. But I can always have control over the key itself so that uh, I can respond in, in kind as I wish. So it's a pretty cool project and it's just uh, always looking to add to it.